Hello to all. Welcome to the channel Money's Gate Tech Vision. This presentation is about the feedback principle and transfer function in control systems. Let me go to the lecture. Normally, a control system can be represented as a block diagram like this. That block represents this system gain, overall system gain, which is ex expressed as G of S. This R of S is the Laplace transform of reference input and C of S is the Laplace transform of controlled output. This is the flow of input and flow of output signal. Block represents overall system gain. Okay. Normally, the output flow in frequency domain can be represented as C of S is equal to R of S into G of S. That is nothing but that output signal flow will be the product of input and system gain. The product of input signal flow and system gain. So, this is the representation for the output signal flow. And about the feedback principle, we know about the feedback. The feedback system element is used to measure the controlled variable. This is the controlled variable. If, uh, using the feedback element, we can measure the controlled variable and using the feedback element, it will be the, a part of the output can be fed back to the input to control the overall process to get the desired response. We know the use of feedback control system. Here I am defining about the feedback. If either the part of the output, sorry, either the, if either the output or some part of the output is returned to the input side and used as a part of the system input, then it is known as feedback. So this is the definition of feedback. And use of feedback, feedback element is used to improve the performance of the control systems. And also using the feedback control system to reduce the effect of disturbance signal. The dist any disturbance signal can be reduced by using the feedback feedback system and also to reduce the steady state error in time domain. So this is the advantages of the feedback element. So in the control system, this feedback system element is roles, uh, plays the important role. And next one about the types of feedback system. There are two types of feedback control system. One is negative feedback control system. Other one is positive feedback control system. I will explain you one by one. This is the block diagram representation for negative feedback control system. Uh, the uh, the block blocks are controller, process and feedback element. And here, this is the comparator which compares the set point. Set point is nothing but reference input. Which compares the set point and measured output. So here, positive and negative. So this is uh, this represents the negative feedback control system. In the negative feedback control system, it is otherwise termed as degenerative feedback because this error output will be the will be the difference of set point and feedback output. This feedback output is nothing but C of T. C of T is the controlled output that can be measured and it will be given to the comparator. This comparator compares the set point and feedback output. Feedback output is the measured, measured output only. C of T is the feedback output. So, it compares R of T and C of T. So, error output is nothing but subtraction of R of T and C of T. Difference of R of T and C of T. So, in the negative feedback control system, reference input that is nothing but set point and output values are subtracted in the negative feedback control system. Error output will be the difference of set point and output values. Output values. And then about the positive feedback control system, it is opposite of that. Here, the comparator compares R of T and R of T and C of T. Here, set point and Controlled output will be added in the positive feedback control system. This positive feedback control system is otherwise termed as regenerative feedback. Here set point and output values are added. Here error output will be the summation of R of T and C of T. Summation of set point and controlled output for the positive feedback control system. And Transfer function. So, for the mathematical model, differential equations, differential equations are uh, can be modeled in time domain. 
in frequency domain transfer function will be modeled for the control system for any system for any control system transfer function can be modeled in frequency domain so here already uh, already i have defined about the closed loop system and open loop system here i am going to derive the transfer function model for transfer function for open loop control system and closed loop control system transfer function definition is it is a, it is nothing but the relative function between inputs and outputs so this is a open loop system representation block diagram representation of open loop control system G of S is the system gain, open loop system gain, R of S is the Laplace transform of input, C of S is the Laplace, Laplace transform of output. C of S equal to signal flow, output signal flow will be the product of input signal and a system gain. This already defined, we already defined. We are going to, uh, going to derive for the transfer function. Transfer function is nothing but the Laplace transform of output by Laplace transform of input. Ratio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input with zero initial conditions. All the initial conditions equal to zero. Assumption will be all the initial conditions should be equal to zero. This is the transfer function definition. So, what is Laplace transform of output? It is represented as C of S. Laplace transform of input is R of S. So, from this, uh, from this equation, we can find the C of S to R of S, ratio of C of S to R of S. So, it is nothing but C of S by R of S is nothing but system gain G of S. So, this is the system gain for, this is, uh, this is a transfer function for open loop control system. Okay. So, let me derive for closed loop control system. Closed loop control system, it includes a process and a feedback control system. So, G of S represents the open loop system. Okay? Here in the closed loop control system, feedback control system will be added to measure the output and that will be fed back to the comparator. And this is, this, uh, this, this is represented as comparator or we can term this as summing point. Okay. So, here I have represented negative feedback control system only. Uh, now, we will derive for transfer function. So, here this uh, H of S is the representation for feedback system gain. C, G of S is open loop system gain. C of S is the controlled Laplace transform of output. E of S is the Laplace transform of error output. V of S is the output signal flow of feedback element. Okay. So, B of S, I have assumed B of S is the, B of S as the output signal flow for the feedback element. Okay. So, now we are going to derive for that. First, I am defining for E of S, error output. So, error output is nothing but R of S and B of S. Uh, this B of S is the input for the comparator here and R of S is the input here. So, R of S is positive, B of S is negative. So, it will be the difference of R of S and B of S, R of S minus B of S. So, we have defined for error output and then I am going to define for B of S. B of S is nothing but it is the output signal flow of feedback system. So, uh, how, how we can uh, define for output signal flow? Output signal flow will be the product of input signal and system gain. So, here system gain is Feedback system gain is represented as H of S. So, what is the input signal flow here? This C of S is the input signal flow for the feedback system. So, B of S can be defined as the product of C of S and H of S. Okay. Now, I am going to derive for C of S. So, here C of S. C of S is nothing but the uh, block diagram output is C of S. Block diagram input is this block input is E of S. So, C of S is the we can define C, C of S as the product of input signal flow and system gain. So, it is a product of E of S and G of S. Okay. E of S and G of S. Okay. This is the input signal for this product, for this block and this is the output signal flow for this block. Okay. So, C of S is the product of input signal flow and system gain. So, already we defined for E of S. I am going to substitute this E of S here. So, E of S is now substituting E of S as R of S minus B of S. Substituting C of S equal to R of S minus B of S. The whole bracket into G of S. And then I am going to substitute B of S values. Which is the product of C of S and H of S. 
So, substituting for b of s, this equation will become c of s equal to r of s minus c of s h of s whole bracket into g of s. Now, rearranging this equation to find the transfer function, what is the transfer function? Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input, c of s by r of s. So, taking c of s as common, c of s as common, c of s into 1 plus g of s h of s. Rearranging this equation, it will become like this, equal to, in the left, right hand side, r of s into g of s. We need to find the ratio of c of s to r of s. So, c of s by r of s will be the g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s. So, this is the transfer function of closed loop control system. So, here I have derived for negative closed loop control, uh, so negative control, negative feedback control system. For the positive feedback control system, this will be the summation of R of S and B of S. So, resultant will be, resultant will be in the denominator, the positive sign will be changed as negative for the positive feedback control system. Okay. So, shortly we can term as C by R equal to G by 1 plus G H for the closed loop control system. G equal to uh, C by R equal to G for the open loop control system. So, transfer function for the open loop control system. So, uh, here I have derived for, uh, derived for transfer function of closed loop control system and open loop control system. So, overall this overall system gain can be represented as C by R equal to G by 1 plus or minus G H. 1 plus G H in the denominator 1 plus G H for negative feedback control system. In the denominator 1 minus G H for positive, positive feedback control system. Okay. So, overall system gain can be represented by a single block like this. Okay. This is the output signal flow, input signal flow, overall system gain can be represented as a single block like this. So, each block diagram can be re reduced to a single block which represents overall system gain. G of S is the open loop system gain. H of S is a feedback factor or feedback system gain. So, here hence we can define the closed loop uh, system gain equal to open loop gain which is represented as G of S by 1 plus open loop gain into feedback factor. So, this is the representation for closed loop system gain, transfer function of closed loop system gain. So, thus we derived uh, the transfer function model for closed loop control system and open loop control system. This is Money's Gate Tech Vision. This is a channel for engineering lectures. Thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, this is my mail ID. You can mail me. You can, uh, you can ask your queries also. Thank you very much.